Well guys, today um, I woke up, I had a couple of messages about the power usage on my 1060 rig, so that's showing I'm making about $7.10 a day because the price of Bitcoin fell last night, so that's to be expected. Rose wheel, 700 watt, 80 plus bronze, so not the most efficient power supply, but it was a nice price, so I went for it. I've got my one Zotac and three EVGA 1060s on this rig, so um, four 1060s. Intel Celeron something, I don't remember what it is exactly, 6 gigabytes of RAM, um, and a regular hard drive, so that's pulling power too. And I'm going to jump under here and go to the power meter. <sighs> so right now we're making about, or not making, but using about 493 watts. This is a fully spooled up machine, it's been going for about an hour. So um, this is very accurate, it's been bouncing anywhere from 490 to 495, so this is with 80% power limits on every single card and then a variation of 700 through 955 on each card because some can overclock a little bit better on the memory. So um, 490 watts to 95, not too bad on numbers. Okay guys, so this is my 1070 system with an i5 4690K. Um, I'm running a 430 watt power supply, regular hard drive, nothing fancy. This is what I'm pulling right now so I can't really read that from here I'll have to check it too so I'm like 74 watts that's with the monitor plugged into the same power strip all this all that power is coming from there as of now um, I do have the overclock applied but we're not running so this is gonna be how many watts it's pulling with both the 1070 and the i5 mining so we're gonna start that let it ramp up and move this config file over Okay. And then as of right now, as you can see, slowly going up. I'm at about $4.25 a day right now with both the CPU and GPU. And um, so far, only pulling about, what is that, 200 and 230. Okay. Still ramping up slowly. We'll wait for it to level off. Yeah. Oh, shit, my fan speed now. Oh, should be. Okay. I gotta hit four. Oh, there we go. So the fan speed's kicking up. We're still going up slightly in hash rate, so it's still wanting to wind a little bit more out of it. We're at about four dollars and forty cents right now. Oh, shit. And then go back down there and check that again. So it looks like about two thirty-five for a full system mining on both my CPU and GPU, and um. We're going to let this go for about a couple minutes. I'll come back, make sure it hasn't changed or anything. And then we're going to also test it with just the GPU going. So that's all I got for right now. So I let it run and round out. It's looking, it's going to be anywhere from like 63 to 65 cents a day. Earnings right now, $4.14. I was making $4.25, $4.45, that kind of range. So um, I'll show my overclock settings here real quick. 80% power limit. 75 on the core and 800 on the memory I'm running about 57 celsius with a fan speed of 71 right now and yeah so this will this will bounce up and around i've seen as high as five or as low as like 350 so um not too bad with 63 to 65 cent power costs and that's at 12 cents per kilowatt hour that's how i'm calculating these so now i'm strictly mining with the gpu and get about 414 hashes on Equihash. Earning me, it's been jumping from like 350 to like 380. And I'm pulling 200 watts on the dot, 201. Sorry, but um, so I mean, I would estimate that the cost would be like 50 cents a day or so for this card without the CPU running, but it's still running the monitor and all the peripherals. So um, that's not too bad, to be honest. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. Now we're going to jump on the 960 rig and see how that goes. Okay, so this is the 960 rig. I have two super, super clock 960s. They use 8-pin um, connectors. 
Got a Thermaltake 850 watt power supply in here. And right now at idle, with just the applications open with Afterburner, a nice hatchet, it's running about 120 watts. So we will turn this puppy on and see what we are cooking at. So this one's probably gonna take a while. We'll see if it'll, as you can hear, pans ramp up real fast. This top card likes to get nice and hot, so we'll see how it goes. $3.51 so far. This normally, it normally starts off pretty good and then I'm not sure if it thermal throttles because that one card likes to get nice and warm or what it is, but. So this is GPU 2 right now. It's at 49 Celsius and then GPU 1 is at 59 already. So I don't know what it's going to climb to, but we shall see. This is 80% power limit. 100 plus on the core, 150 on the memory for GPU 2, and then man, it's starting to lag nice and good. Come on, and then GPU 1 is 300 on the memory, none on the core. So. 63 Celsius on GP1 so far. Starting to speed up now. Not lag as much, so that's good. So, looks like 53 for GP2 as you see, and then 64 in that. And I'll go back to nice hash, see what it's getting. So, still over three bucks, about 325 right now. Um, I'm assuming it's probably gonna drop right to around three after a while, so. I'll bring you guys an update in about 10 minutes so we can get power costs in. Right now, we're pulling about 385 watts, a little bit less. Sometimes it spikes, so um, I'll give it 10 minutes and then I'll bring you guys back and we can see what we're getting. Well, it is rounded out. It's been about 20 minutes and it's at a dollar a day for two 960s on an 80s bronze 850 watt power supply. It's been bouncing in between like 285 to 315, so um, I'm losing about a third of my profits to electricity, but that's okay because these cards are cheap. So, moving on to the next. And we are on to the last computer. This is the Optilex 790 with the i5 2400 and a GTX 1052 gigabyte. So it keeps hopping around. It's going from like 37 to about 40 or 40.5 watts at idle with these programs open. So Afterburner and then Nice Hash. And we have Afterburner um, set to 80%, core clock zero, memory clock 358. And we are going to be mining with the CPU as well. So I will press start. And then I'll come back after about 10 or so minutes and see what it's pulling and how much it's going to cost per day with 12 cent per kilowatt hour electric. Well, it's been about 20 minutes. We're getting about $1.81 and now it's $1.30. That's the beauty of nice hash. It always changes. Um, and we're pulling about 128 watts. So I'm going to quick move this cost per day is about 34 cents at 12 kilo at uh, 12 cents per kilowatt hour so making you know dollar 80 losing about 30 cents to, to 35 cents so i'm still netting over a buck a day with this with this system so um that's all i have for today i'm gonna wrap this video up try to upload it um if you enjoyed the video or found it any helpful at all please like the video comment what you want to see next you know i'm trying to experiment and do new things for you guys and subscribe down below so you can see all my dope new videos that's all i got thank you you only need the light when it's burning low Only miss the sun when it starts to snow Only know you love her when you let her go Whoa, whoa, only know you've been high when you're feeling low